Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Google Analytics and Google Search Console inside Cadence. Let's jump onto the video and see how this works. For this video to work, you will need the pro version of Cadence and make sure that you have header and footer scripts enabled as you can see in this visual. So the first thing you have to do is go to analytics.google.com. Now I'm logged into the browser here as my profile. So I'm in Chrome, I'm logged in already. If you aren't logged in, you may need to set that up um, so that you've got a Google account to be able to notify and connect to this analytics account. All right, so we've got the parks. Golf Open is the name. Well, we're just gonna do Parks Golf as the account. So that all looks okay. So that's the name of the account. Next, we've got a property, which is the Parks Golf Open. This is for the particular event website that we're working on. So we're gonna set the details here. All right, so I'll set up the property details, etc. Then I go next, business details. Just gonna do baseline reports, really. That's what we're after on this particular site. Um, here we go to Australia again, I accept. Okay, now we need to choose the platform. Now, because we're setting this up on a Cadence website, we're clicking on web. And now we need to put our URL in. And I'll just switch that over. I'll put website first. <coughs> This just makes it easier to do um, our tracking. So we've got the enhanced tracking on. I'm gonna leave all this here. There is four extra items here um, that we can set up. Um, that's all fine. So then I'm gonna just say create stream. All right, so this now gives me all the tagging instructions here. So I can click on view tagging instructions. and that will load. Now what it's going to do, because I've got uh, WordPress set up, it's gonna instruct me to do all this stuff. We don't wanna do that. We wanna say install manually. And you'll see here, this is the tag that we want after the head element, all right? So we're just gonna copy this bit of code like that. And that's all good. So next, we're gonna go over to our Parks Golf Open website now I'm logged in, I'm on the front end of the website, and what we have to do is click on Customize. This will bring up the Customizer. And inside here, we're going to go to Custom Scripts, and we're gonna say Add Scripts into your header. So we paste that script that we just copied, and click Publish. That now has that set up, just like that. Close it. Then I'm gonna to go to my WP Engine here. We're just gonna have a look. We'll go back to the dashboard. And what I'm looking to do here is clearing the server-side cache. So we're just gonna have a look there. WP Engine and caching. And clear all caches. This will make sure that if there is a cache inside the CDN or anywhere inside um, the, the setup of WP Engine, it's gonna be gone. And that's what we want. So now we're gonna go back to visit the site. So there we are there. So now let's go back to where we were in Analytics. And we've now done that, so I'll click Close. I can click Close up the top here as well. And then go Next. And then go Continue to Home. Um, all of these emails for the email communications, we're just gonna ignore all of that and just go save. And we can see already that we've got one user on the website. 
So that means that the tracking is active because I've already gone and visited the website. So you can see that that is there. If you don't have activity, then it means that something must be stuck inside of cache and you need to go and check out your server and make sure the cache isn't there. Um, the other thing you can also do is go to your website right click and say view page source. This brings up all the source code that we've got. And then we can take a look through this. And if I just do a control F inside the browser, bring up anything that's got Google in it as well, you can do it that way. So we can see we've got tag manager here and there's my asynchronous script for the tag that I've got. And here's all the information just by looking for Google because we had the Google tag there. So you can see that's where that script has gone in. Now, yes, it isn't directly after the head tag, which is ideally where Google wants it, but the thing is, it all works fine anyway. Um, and we are in the admin mode as well. So that's how all of that works. Um, yeah, hope that helps you set up Google Analytics on your website. So now that Google Analytics is set up, we want to set up the website within the search console of Google. So go to search.google.com forward slash search console forward slash welcome. Um, and we need to put our URL in here in the URL prefix. You can do domain, but I'm just gonna do URL for this one and go continue. This will now connect up and start to verify that we have ownership of the website. So now it's saying the verification method has been auto completed. This is because I've already got Google Analytics on the website. So then we go to the property and there we go. That's now set up. So from Google Analytics, we go to admin. Then inside the property column, if you scroll down, there'll be a search console links. Click on that and say link. And then this here will bring up the account that we just created. So confirm. And there we go, we go next. Select the web stream that we want to link it to. And then we're reviewing that, that all looks correct. And we click submit. This now means that this search console is connected to my analytics and it will give me more information about how people are finding pages when it comes to their behavior on Google before they even get to the website. Well, I hope that helped you in getting your Google Analytics started and connecting everything up, including that search console. It'll really help you understand what's happening on your website. For more tips like this, why don't you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you wanna know, make sure you leave a comment below on this video, let me know what you want to know and I'll make a video about it and I'll see you in the next video.